Taurus is a low-cost, intuitive, dexterous, telemanipulated robotic platform. This technology was developed with a specific mission in mind. However, its versatility makes it useful for any job where cost, safety, or access makes hands-on, direct manipulation impractical. For mobile applications needed by bomb squads, being able to send Taurus downrange, inspect a suspicious package, and provide the precision and control to render a device safe. Having that option to the bomb squad is something that is, is new and, and really revolutionary for them. We also have configurations that are very appropriate for laboratory and other fixed installations. Taurus's unique man-machine interface, dexterity, and real-time control provides users surgical precision to perform their mission at a safe distance. We have input device options with and without haptic feedback. These devices precisely track your hand movements, giving you full control of the robotic arms. The entry-level solution provides hand tracking and control over the robotic grasper. For our customers looking for haptic capability, we have input devices offering full haptic feedback, meaning you're actually going to feel the forces between the robot and its environment. For example, as you squeeze onto objects, you'll actually feel that in the hand controllers. All Taurus systems provide 3D stereoscopic vision. Some models use active 3D glasses, while others use an immersive binocular display. Using the Taurus system with these devices is like reaching into the remote environment with your own hands. Another feature of our Operator Control Unit, or OCU, is the ability to control the camera and arms through the use of foot pedals. The foot pedals allow you to tilt the camera up and down and be able to zoom in and out of the scene. One benefit of our clutched approach to control is the ability to be able to continuously roll Taurus's hands. So the idea is that your hand can only roll a fixed amount here, but by being able to, to move Taurus's hands, unclutch from the system, reposition your hands, and then continuing that roll allows Taurus to be able to roll a full 360 degrees. One likely use case where this continuous roll capability is useful is shunting an initiator. That is being able to strip and then twist the wires together to render an explosive device inert. The components that go downrange with our system is what we call Taurus, the end manipulator itself, and what we call the power control unit, or PCU. The PCU provides the communication link with the operator control unit, or OCU, through either a wired ethernet link wireless ethernet, or fiber. We've deployed a variety of tools and we've categorized them into passive tools, measurement tools, and power tools. For passive tools, we have suction cups, scalpels, collection vial holders, wire probes, pry bars, and inspection cameras. In measurement tools, we have oscilloscope-like capabilities with voltage measurement and current measurement. Power tools include screwdrivers, drills, and hot knife cutters. Another feature of Taurus is the ability to quickly and remotely switch tools through an interface we've coined the Dovetail Adapter. This allows the user to have a variety of specialized tools at their disposal and to rapidly reconfigure after the system is downrange and on target. From the beginning, we've appreciated the need to make the Taurus system affordable. That is why we've designed Taurus to be a tool which interfaces and extends the capability of your current ground robotic platforms. Total cost depends on configuration options. However, a basic configuration is available for less than half the cost of traditional EOD robots. The addition of Taurus really adds the fine level control and dexterity that we keep hearing so much need for across the industry. Although we've designed the system for render safe applications, because of its versatility, it is useful in a broad range of more common situations such as suspicious package inspection, sample collection, and forensic evidence gathering. 
we see future versions of the system extending into chemical, radiological, biochemical, and nuclear threat reductions, both domestically and abroad. Thank you.